Hello there, first time seeing my channel, I used to review cartoon series, anime series, so stop it could be random. And today will be Flex Fighters, season 2. Let's go! If you've not seen this series, it's basically a small summary. It's the bunch of kids who got powers, they have got tricked by this character called Rook, and now he abuses them, he never escaped, and now trying to take him down, but only problem Rook has the whole control of the whole city and kind of manipulate all the news to see them being bad guys. Usually one-on-one superhero. But this is interesting because season two left off when they're they basically on the lowest and they had to uh, team up with this new character called Dr. C. She is basically very smart but very aggressive in her tactics. So the problem the team doesn't like that tactic. They want to become more relaxed and not very violent and hurt people. So this kind of they have this conflict with the team and Dr. C and especially with her new assistant, Backlash. I'm not gonna say sure I'm a wrong name I've given her, but anyway. The thing I enjoy most is this series actually developed three characters that really wasn't well developed would be Wingspan, Backlash, and Brooke. These three characters actually had a chance to develop, especially uh, Wingspan that didn't have a chance to develop and kind of define what he really is. And this one just took his time, a relationship with his family and with his girlfriend, and find out who he really is. And you like about that, he's a nervous type of guy. I mean, this guy is always known as panicking, always thinking the bad things before the good things actually starts. And I love how you have the kind of fun relationship with the other group members because they kind of make fun of him. Just do not panic take down, relax. But yeah, I love that he has these great ideas of bad things that it's just so enjoyable. Also Backlash, you have more backstory and explanation why she is Backlash. Why she become this ultimate ninja warrior that you just found interesting and never feels forced or anything. It's just perfect. You also have Rook that probably the most character needs development because he's the main villain. But I love it when you actually go the backstory. He is basically kind of like, I won't ruin it, but I have to compare to the Kingpin from uh, Daredevil. He's more kind of, he loves the city. He's not a threat threat. Only if you challenge him and his city. He wants to protect the city. He wants to help. He really honestly wants to improve people in an honest way. But of course, great villains fall into that kind of whole I'm trying to be a good person but those horrible things and this character nails it. The performance was amazing and you do believe Brooke is a nice guy but only problem is he's going the really wrong way but understand his backstory that I'm not gonna ruin, you understand Brooke so well. You understand why he want to help people, especially what happened to the tech men. If you remember them for season one, they were once kind of hit villains, but you don't know what their main purpose was till season two that I try not to ruin, but it's something to do with Brooke, his backstory. So it's kind of interesting to see what happened to the, the tech men because they became more dangerous and more lethal because they were just waiting for the perfect time to come back and tech everyone. Now you also have Dr. C who actually has time to develop just a little bit, not that much. The only thing you know she is kind of aggressive, used to be the teacher of Brooke and she wants to take down Brooke very badly. But her methods are very questionable sometimes. But luckily they don't focus on that much. In fact they don't focus on the relationship of the whole cast with Dr. C. It's just very very little. It's almost like three events actually happened. She had to kind of struggle with them. Other than that, very little. But she had her moment that she kind of defined what kind of character she really was. Yeah, I enjoy that. A little bit enough make a character interesting enough so you still watch the series and you actually like the character. Anything else? Well, the fight scene got proof major. The story was more fun. I thought some of the stories, some of the new villains, they had just added two new villains, but the ones they came out to explain who they are felt almost like Baba anime series. It's kind of this dark, greedy way in a way. You just enjoyed it and believe every time I see these two characters coming out of this new season that I thought I would watch Baba the anime series just so well done. Except the final two episodes that that was kind of questionable because if you've seen season one and season two they have to kind of stretch it out this kind of idea of some solutions they have to make like oh i had to go to some dream person because i have a communicator who connects to me to them it sounds so simple but you know how the way they show it feels kind of out of nowhere four moments that four moments feels kind of odd you have to let go and believe it's one of the things that kind of could be ruined the series if you that type of person like me who kind of like yeah I need a little bit more detail. But other than that, yeah that was the series was great. 
also the final episode was wasn't rushed. I just didn't like some of the choices, but it's still a good series because everybody has chance to shine. The relationships, the dynamics, and the fact how even fight and some of the fight scenes is just so crazy and fun. Well, I got nothing else to say. Just watch the series. I mean, it really was uh, the next level. They really pushed it so much far and more approved about everything. Save some of the cheesy dialogue here and there. And some of the comedy are basically the same old characters that I kind of wish they fixed a little bit more. But they stopped doing it only in the first couple of episodes. All of that, the series is good. I have to rate this. I have to honestly give it an honest 8 out of 10. It's kind of a very worth watching series. I hope I convinced you to watch the series because it's worth watching. Season 1 is good, but it takes a little while to get interesting and likable. Season 2, hugely improved. I recommend watch Season 2. I mean, first you have the dear first 10 episodes, that's a Season 2, you see the improvements. I highly recommend it. I got nothing else to say. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and have a wonderful day. Bye.